I'm, my name is Rita Bonner. This is my photo of my brother who was 20 years of age when he was murdered by um, British paratroopers on the 11th of August 1971. He was an innocent civilian like the other 10 and we have cam campaigned for 42 years for justice. Now, he was an innocent civilian. All the proof, everything is there. Autopsy reports for the world to see. And yet, my brother's name is not cleared 42, days yet, 42 years later. And this is what we are campaigning for. And we'll, we'll not stop until we get justice for them. I think it's deserving of them. But for three days, for two days before that he was murdered, we were under siege. There was people who had been shot dead. So when the bin lids rattled, my brother went out to see, which was normal, very normal at them times, to go out and see what was going on in the area. My other brother as well was 18 as well, he went out with them. The results were my brother on the 13th of August came back in a box. My other brother was tortured and humiliated by the paratroopers and he served six months imprisonment for a crime that he did not do. And that's why we're campaigning and I will not stop till every breath of me is done. And see when I'm finished. There's somebody behind me, as well as these other families, to take over our campaign, but we would like to see justice done very soon. We're here, we're at Saturn 11, and our families uh, all lost a loved one, and the family came back her on August, between the 8th of August and the 11th of August 1971. I lost my father, Danny Tiger, with him. He was shot 14 times. What's your memory of that night? Well, I, I would, from up that night, I was only 11. Uh, I, I remember the, the, the heavy gunfire. I didn't know what would happen. And the first I heard about it was coming into the house, and my mother was in the process of telling uh, my older brother that my daddy was shot, the army shot. Uh, that's the memory of uh, I had my daddy. Was what have the past 40 years been like without any answers? It's, well, that, that day and, and, and my father Dan, uh, it's for us, uh, all the families, it's, it's just like this. Uh, we've been campaigning all these years for the truth and justice. Uh, and at the moment, when we we'll look at the panel proposal that we have put forward, this panel proposal has been tried and tested. It was for the 96 people who lost their lives in the Hillsborough disaster. So try to test it and cost effective. We've addressed all, all the issues where for the both governments there wouldn't be any regular. Uh, the British government has fully supported the Hillsborough families. On the day that their inquests were granted, uh, David Cameron stood in, in the House of Commons and says that they, they support the families for their inquests and they will financially support them uh, for, for the uh, legal proceedings. Is today a major step forward and what do you hope comes out of it? Uh, it is a major step forward. You look around us, I say almost everybody here is carrying an Irish passport. I'm carrying an Irish passport with me. We are Irish citizens. That, that's the point we need to make. It's our government. We need our government support that the Irish citizens, 11 people, and including my father, were murdered by the British Army. It, they, they need to support the families and support the Irish citizens in the north. That's what needs to be done. from Murphy of the families of local people who were killed 40 years ago uh, during the 36 hours from around the August the 9th period, 1971. They're here with uh, Alex Atwood of the SDLP, Travel Run from the Alliance Party, and Paul Maskey from Sinn Féin. Uh, this is a campaign that's been going on for almost 40 years. The families have taken an initiative. They are arguing for uh, an independent panel, uh, as happened with the Hillsborough football uh, disaster, to come in to look at all the information and to come back with a verdict. It won't cost a lot of money. Uh, they have briefed the Taoiseach's department and the Department of Foreign Affairs fully on all the details of this over the last number of months. And they're looking for a very, very clear commitment, and I've raised this issue with the Taoiseach even this week. They're looking for a very clear commitment from the Taoiseach that the Irish government will support this demand and also will lobby for it and use its diplomatic services and its ongoing contact with the British government to get the British government to do the right thing by these families. 40 years, why is the truth not come out? Well, you saw it even in the recent past talks, there are elements in the North don't want the lid to be lifted on a lot of these uh, matters. Sinn Féin signed up 
for the Haas uh, proposals. We're still waiting for the British government to clearly state its unambiguous support for the implementation. I mean, these aren't Haas's proposals or Megan O'Sullivan's. They're proposals drawn from all the main political uh, parties. So, you know, we can only go forward when people have some sense of closure on these issues.